code. Oh yeah, it is 55 because that's when it says starting soon. <laughs> yeah, 54 is the last one we did, so. And we're live. Welcome to the OuyaCast, episode 55, recorded on Sunday, April 12th, 2015. This is your weekly source for the latest, latest news, games, and hacks for Ouyans everywhere. I'm Brandon from OuyaCentral.tv. And I'm Steve from OuyaBrew.com. Thank you guys so much for joining us for 55 episodes of the OuyaCast. 55, wow. Can't believe it. And uh, sorry for last week. Uh, we completely forgot it was Easter, so... Yeah, hopefully you guys had a good Easter, and um, we're, we're back in action. We're a little late today, but, you know, things happen. We're supposed to have a developer on the show, and that didn't work out, but hopefully next week. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, man. I just realized that you were live when I was talking about which episode we were on, so thanks for that, man. <laughs> and I was just waiting for it. <laughs> I appreciate that. No, I'm just, like, talking away. I just realized it. That's cool. I think, I think that's going to be part of, like, the like the outtakes I guess in the beginning of the show <laughs> <laughs> it happens you know what you gotta do but anyhow in traditional Ouya cast uh, format we're gonna go over our sales and of course Mr. Brandon's got those on lockdown for you, Mr. Oh, yeah. Brandon please alright so we got Whispering Willows that's sorry the price has been reduced recently it's dropped down to nine ninety nine, so you can pick that up. I think it was like fourteen ninety nine, so save five bucks there, permanently. And then we have Neon Caves, thirty three percent off until April fourteenth, which is uh, Tuesday. You can pick that up for two dollars. Looks like a good game. I'm probably gonna need to try that one out. And then also a new release uh, this week on. Friday, Hero Generations, one of the uh, free the funds games, free free the games fun games. Yeah, sounds like a tongue twister. Uh, that's ten percent off until April seventeenth, which I believe is possibly yeah, this Friday. Um, so you can pick that up for thirteen dollars and forty nine cents. Uh, but wait, there's more. There's more, Johnny. <laughs> we got uh, 99 Waves to Die. That uh, ends today. So you can pick that up. I believe it might be like 99 cents. I'm not too sure. Because I think I purchased that way back when that game came out. So, and then all the usual bundles um, are there. And I believe our good buddy old pal over there on the Ouya forums writing Spectra Spectra? Spec yeah I'm sorry I messed up her name <laughs> I'm gonna hear about that later but anyways <laughs> uh, she is I saw something where she said something about a developer is continuing support for Ouya I think it is called uh I have them right here, I think, on my... I recently downloaded the game. Ballistic SE. So it's by Radiant Games. And he has quite uh, quite a few games on the Ouya. And I think he's also going to try to port some more over, I think she was trying to get him to do. And, and I believe he mentioned that he's going to try to put a bundle together. So that's cool. There's another bundle coming, hopefully. More than likely. Right, right, and we'll take care of that. Should get it set up. She's uh, she's always out there trying to get people, on, developers, to um, bring their games to Ouya. So that's yeah. Good, so that's a good thing. Um, and other Ouya news. Um, okay. Um, the uh, Hero Generations. Currently, there is a a bug which is being worked on as we speak. Our good buddy Tim Groutman is actually working with the development team over there on Heart Shaped Games and trying to fix a bug. So if you're playing, it kind of it's kind of annoying, but at least you don't lose your uh, progress. Uh, it it's for some reason you get to a point and it actually uh, crashes and goes back to the home screen. 
but you don't really lose your progress. So if you got, you know, halfway through the game, it does. You can just load it back up and and it should be fine. So that's cool. I tried that game out for the first time the other day. I think it was Friday, Friday night. Yeah, Friday because it came out. So I was live streaming that and. Jared gave me the 411 on that, so that was cool. It's good to see Ouya working with developers, trying to get things worked out. So for those of you, and I know because we're looking at the live chat right now, for those of you who don't know what 411 is, okay, <laughs> see back in the 90s, early 2000s, and you might still be able to get it. You used to be able to call 411, and it would be directory assistance. This is way before the big Googles were around where you could just type in whatever you wanted to call, and they would tell you whatever the phone number was. See, it was like a, it was like a phone book, but it was like a, an operator phone book. See, it was really nice. You just call them. You say, hey, I want to know the number to this, and, and they would tell you. It was, it was pretty cool you know, for what it was. I wonder how much it was back, that, back, back then. Cause, uh... it, was, it was free, if I, if I recall. Well, I guess I guess uh, they're making some money nowadays. I think AT and T charges like almost two dollars if you call them. Oh uh, yeah, that's what it was. You used to you used to pay for it, and then they came out with uh, it was like one eight hundred free four one one. Yeah, I remember. And that then one. You used to call that. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, good, but, good, good, good. I don't, I don't ever call four one one. I could just go to Google. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Google has all the answers. Even if you're a developer and you need to translate your game to the Xami, <laughs> what a perfect segue. <laughs> right? You just use Google Translate and do simplified Chinese, you know? <laughs> you know what I do, though, with Google Translate is I, I translate it to whatever language that I want to do, and then I'll translate it back to English to see, like, what kind of messed up translation there is. And uh, most of the time, it's, uh, it's pretty far from what I originally, you know, sent over, so. Oh, uh, so you... Translate it and then you translate it back. Yeah, it's like something like totally different. You know, you'll be like, I mean, okay, I know this is like way off base for Ouya, but let me, let me let's just do this real quick. Google Translator. All right, so I'm gonna say, "Hello, my special friend," and we're gonna translate that from English to simplified Chinese. Okay, we're going to copy that simplified Chinese. We're going to translate it back into English. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it actually worked this time. Of course it does because I'm <laughs> saying something about it right now. Okay, whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it break just because now it's going to... Hello there, my special friend. Friend, how are you? Question mark. Let's try. Let's try Spanish. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. If this doesn't work this time, then I'll just admit that I was completely wrong. Okay, translating back. Okay, whatever. It worked. I'm stupid, but it does happen. I've seen it happen several times. It, it messes it up. Maybe I chose too simple a structure of a sentence. I don't know. Yeah, way off topic, yeah. but it works. It does work. And, you know, it's it's a it's a cheap alternative to paying somebody to translate a game for you. Yeah, and I mean, if if you know, if there's plenty of uh, uh, Chinese people that will correct you if you're wrong. So hey, they'll 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 help you uh, fix it for free then. <laughs> Somebody's bound to tell them, hey, you need to fix that. It's not correct or something, you know? Absolutely. So did you cover all the uh, all the uh, reduced and uh, on-sale games? I believe so. I think well, we do have uh, a couple other notable things. Um, first of all, uh, we want to go ahead and obviously, because of our own accord, not because of anything else, want to give a... Uh, update to or want, want to let people know that uh, Super Renegade Response, of course, has an update. You want to try check that out? That would be awesome. Um, so there's that. Number two, there was I don't know if you saw this, but uh, there was a the guy that made uh, the game Postal. He made Postal Two. He tried to submit it to the 
uh, Amazon App Store, mm-hmm. and they told him no, it's too violent or too. I forget exactly what the problem was, but basically he told him no, you can't have it on the Amazon App Store. Mm-hmm. So he tweeted to Ouya and he said, "Hey, well, I want to get this on the Ouya." Well, actually, it wasn't. Again. It actually wasn't the developer that asked uh, asked Ouya the question. It was just like a, a oh, fan. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, Ouya said they would totally take it. That's yeah. a, that's that was the point I was getting at. Yeah, sorry to bust your bubble, but <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I gotta correct you. you. Gotta get you know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If you're wrong, hey, you know you're what? Wrong. I'm I'm like Fox News over here. Okay, I will report whatever the hell I feel like <laughs> it, and I don't care if it's true or not. I will just say whatever it is. All right, that's how I do. Yeah, it's all good though. But yeah, that's so. Hopefully that they'll reach out to Ouya and get that game on on uh, on the Ouya. Yeah, man, I would love that. Oh yeah. So shout outs to everybody in the chat: Turtle Toy, Kill Switch, Rosie. Oh, what was that? Uh, my fan decided to be extra special. I don't know. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, Super Renegade response. Let's see what let's see what he updated. Version. 1.3 is here, and the first three levels are now free. Coolio. <laughs> you know what's funny is I don't think I've ever made it past the first three levels, so... <laughs> um, where is version 3? I'm, I passed it. Okay. New objects, more polish, new levels and vehicles, audio mute option, mission screens added, and new intro added. Coolio. Ooh, yeah, brew, give it, get in the driver's seat and take this kick donkey ride. <laughs> what? <laughs> it does not say that. We're just say that right there. <laughs> I'm. Well, I don't see what your screen says. So unless it's gonna update on the uh, YouTube page here. Hold on. It's coming. I'm waiting for it. He qu- he quoted you. You you said it. I know you did. Sounds like something you would say. <laughs> Get a driver's seat. Take this kick ass ride. Oh yeah. <laughs> I thought you said the word donkey in there. I was like, I'm pretty sure I never said the word donkey in there. That is a, that is a donkey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh yeah yeah. Uh, All righty. What else? Uh, what else is coming out? Um, let's see. Joe Danger is supposed to be coming. So it says, ooh, yeah. We still haven't got any word about that, but yeah. And then there's a uh, Fire for Your Life is coming soon. I know. That looks so awesome. I didn't even know they were working on another game. And then when they uh, tweeted that to us, I was like, oh, yeah, man, I'm all over that. Well, yeah, the first time they tweeted us, it looked like they were... I didn't see realize what they were tweeting us, so it looked like I they thought were, it was a new level. Right, I thought right. it was like a new fire level to to race for your life. I right. was like, okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So yeah, then they they sent some some screenshots of this actual game that they are working on. It's, I mean, it has they have the same system, so it's going to be able to do online multiplayer, cross platform. Yeah, I think that's going to be one of one of my uh my next new favorite games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, it probably take place of uh, race for your life. We'll see. Um, what else is coming? Um, a couple episodes ago, I talked about uh, Guardians of the Forest, and a little birdie told me that it's supposed to be coming soon, like within like two weeks. So that's cool. Really? Um, who's yeah. the, who's the birdie? Come on, tell us. I I don't know. It's red. Ratalac, Ratalac. <laughs> we already did, went through this. You, you know that I can't. You know that I can't stand secrets, man. I gotta know. I gotta know inside information. That's how I roll. Ratalac. Remember we talked about this. This. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try, trying to get his name right. Yeah, I gotta ask them how to pronounce it the proper way. Nice. Um. So yeah. They. Yeah, t- I. I was uh. What, uh, they tweeted out and asking streamers or people that that live stream if they were interested in the game, and so he said it's coming soon. 
Um, yeah. But he didn't say how soon. Yeah. Well, within like two weeks, hopefully. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right. Another game that's coming in two weeks is supposed to be the second act of um, Broken Age. Another game coming soon. Um. Yeah. What else is coming? I think there's a, quite a bit coming. There are people out there working on games. What about you? Are you are you entering the uh, game development area yet? Mm, I want to. Just time. Don't have time. I like li this. This week, I actually had my first official day off during the week because Sundays don't count. I'm already I'm off auto automatically. So like Wednesdays are my normal day off and past three weeks I've been working on my off day so I was able to relax a little bit but then in the next three weeks I'll be working on my off day again so I guess time only time will tell if I have time. It, <laughs> it's really tough you know I've really tried to, to develop games um and I'm I'm still going to try to do it, but yeah, you're right. Time is really what it's all about, and it just seems like the more you try, the less you have, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and Killswitch is uh, finishing up a game, so that's cool. He must have some time. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, yeah. So, uh... I was playing this game on the Ouya, and I just got to give it a shout out because this style of game is just so awesome. Uh, it was called, I think, Echo or Echoes Plus. Yeah. Have you seen that? Yeah, I think I think it's free. It is free. It's just like uh, Geometry Wars back in the, I think it's like early two thousands. There was uh, Geometry Roll. Uh, yeah, that's that's what it is. I gotta let me just check. G it was an Xbox thing, Geometry. I think they're coming out with like Geometry Wars 3 now. Yeah, so it's kind of like that. I'm going to switch to my... Uh, let's just switch to it here. I got it up by so... Oh, okay, well if you got it, you got the screencast, so I'll just defer to you. But uh, super fun game, man. I, I love these kind of games that are like really fast-paced action title type. You know, like you've got to like think on your feet and move really fast. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a, what you call it, six game modes, four difficulty settings, 24 online high score tables, uh, 100 trials, multiple power-ups and weapons, and it's, and it's not terrible. You might even like it. <laughs> yeah, you should uh you should play a level real quick on the air or not maybe a whole level but just kind of give a overview of the gameplay cuz it's pretty cool. Oh, it's made with AGK2, the app game kit com. Ah. Let's wait. Right. There's a there's another game that's very much like this. It's called Beat Hazard. And I have it on Steam, and uh, Beat Hazard is is a lot like this. But what you can do is you can actually pump in your own MP3 files while you're uh, while you're playing the game for like a customized soundtrack. It is so awesome, and this it just reminds me so much of this game. I don't know why. I mean, obviously it's the same you know type of game. That's why. But did. I, I'm just looking at the YouTube video here. Did you get a not respawning error from the game? Yeah. And then I've never seen that. And then it's um. I hit wait, and so it loaded up, but now my controller's not responding. Don't know. It, Let's exit and get back in there. Is it hooked up to your me box? Is that what happened? No. It looks like. It's probably you trying to pull, I don't know, something. Maybe because of my uh, connection. Let's try that again. Ch -ch -ch. 
We're watching, we're watching. And while we're waiting for this anyway, right. um, did you see the news story that uh, Exami is actually going to expand into India uh, stores and online? No, I missed that. Yeah, so if you don't know, for those of you listening to the show, Exami obviously is a big Ouya partner. They're the ones... Um, that are kind of using Ouya's platform on their set-top boxes and stuff of that, of that nature. Uh, so the, the article says, Exami has announced plans to considerably expand its reach in India through new partnerships with retail outlets and the country's leading e-commerce websites. Exami products can be bought through an exclusive partnership with Flipkart, but following on from 1 million sales in five months, it's looking to capitalize on the interest. So basically, what this is saying in a roundabout way is that uh, Ouya everywhere, obviously, but Ouya everywhere will uh, probably be taking a larger step into India as well through Exami. So that's pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. let's. Let's just check something here. India. So the current population of India, FYI, is 1.2 billion people. And that's important because if you look at the population of China, it's only, I mean, it's 1.3 billion people. So India is got a lot of uh, untapped gamers ready to play the games that uh, the Ouya developers make, so that's yeah, just one more uh, one more demographic, you know? Yeah, I recently updated the Ouya forms uh, from our, our previous episode of the Xami, and um, they were at, some of the developers asking, you know, what are the downloads, um, you know, what it was like, I guess, the, what, what they're looking at over there as for downloads, so I actually updated it last, last early this morning. Uh, with with the latest download count of the eight games that are out on the Exami Mi Box, and Cannibal HD has over over eighty three thousand downloads. That's the the highest uh, downloading game so far. Ouya game that's on the the Exami Mi Box. That's insane. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's like I said. Uh, I think it's like last episode or maybe the one before that. You know, it was the last episode. If you want to make your games available for the Exami or for the Ouya everywhere and, you know, that kind of thing, now's the time to do it because Ouya has, uh, let's just check, let's just check, no reason to speculate, Ouya.tv. Let's look. They have 1,102 games and counting. So... If you have, what was it, eight titles? Is that what you said? Yep. Eight titles out of 1,102 that made it over to the Exami, that's, uh, you know, you're, you're going to get those kind of like huge market shares. So if you're a developer, take your game, get it, you know, talk to talk to Ouya and get it on there, man, because you, you really do have a, a much higher chance of being seen and uh, having, you know, the Chinese market or in the future the India market uh, downloading your game and, and making that money mm -hmm. it's all about the money make that money make them bones <laughs> actually no bones are dice I'm stupid never mind sorry make that paper that's right <laughs> make your brain and I'm so I'm so white I can't even <laughs> I can't even play you gotta make that bread man <laughs> <laughs> I'm white too. <laughs> it's okay. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, how about I heard? I didn't see it, but there was like a, a leaked video from Vimeo uh, from Uya's channel of a new update that was supposed to, uh, that's supposed to be coming, and uh, someone posted it on the Uya forums. But since then, it's been marked as private or deleted. Uh oh. So it's. If uh, if anybody has that video and they wants to share it with us, let us know. You can contact us at uyacentral.tv at gmail.com. 
send that to me. I would like to see it. That's right. Or I can just wait until it officially releases on Ouya. Do they uh, even give a code name for it yet? I don't really know. There's a, a post on the Ouya forum. <laughs> And there was the, the the link to it and everything. Some people saw it, some people didn't. I was one of the ones that didn't. <laughs> Turtle Toy on our live chat. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. He he says that it's either called Dinosaur or Friendly Freddy Fa Fozbear, I think. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> We and, should and oh yeah and, and what they did say is that there was like some kind of like friends list or something where like you can see who was online or something like that. So, yeah. We should uh, talk to Uya about maybe opening up like a uh, suggestion forum on their website where you can vote to name their next update. That'd be cool. And we should also talk to them about pushing out an update that you know during like uh, an anniversary like a two or three year anniversary whatever it is that um, brings the uh, operating system back to the original uh, old Ouya like original awesome. out of the box one when oh, yeah. they shipped That'd be cool. that that would be awesome actually <laughs> could you imagine oh yeah or they should like they should they should April Fool's us with <laughs> next year have a, a new update but then it go, takes it back all the way to the beginning <laughs> and <laughs> FYI in case Ouya does that just so you know we thought of it right here right now on the Ouya cast <laughs> you're gonna have to give us some credit just saying that would be that would be a good April Fool's joke I don't know it might it, it might just top yours it just might. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you, you know what's funny about that is uh, for and I, I like to keep people informed as to what we're talking about. So if you go to ouyabrew.com, the um, the April Fool's joke that we did this year was that Ouya was going to pull out of the United States and focus only on China and basically you know all the games are going to be converted to the yen and uh, there was not going to be any mandatory translation back to English. And it seemed like some people like really did fall for it. Like they were like pissed. And they're like, <laughs> they're like, oh my god. But uh, my favorite you know, part was when uh, you had a comment from uh, Bob and said, "I don't even speak Mandarin." <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> for this dazed look, I don't even speak Mandarin. I don't... <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, man. That was that was good fun. And luckily. You know, it was it was all kind of like just I was very I was feeling very like eh, maybe they're gonna be mad at me, but uh, at the end of the day, you know, I, I I tweeted and I said, hey, thanks for letting me have a little bit of uh, April Fool's Day fun, and they actually uh, replied back and you know kind of gave me the the unofficial no problem good job kind of thing. They <laughs> I, I forget exactly what they said, but it was like you know well played, sir, or something yeah. like that. So yeah, <laughs> that made cool. me feel better. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, but that day uh, is a day that to stay off the internet, because everywhere, <laughs> everywhere does it. Everywhere. Just can't get away from it. Yeah. I don't even know what my favorite one of this year was. I haven't seen a really good April Fool's Day prank until, or since, uh, I think it was 2012 when IGN released the, uh, the Legend of Zelda Link to the Past movie trailer. Which you can still find on YouTube to this day, I'm sure. That was like a terrific prank because it looks so real, and I would totally to this day go watch it if they came out with it in the theaters. So, <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, yes, it would. All right. Um, let me see what else we can transition to. I don't know. <laughs> Turtle Boy says Ouya should do an Ouya 2 April Fool's joke. I tried that <laughs> last year. That was that was my April Fool's joke for last year. And uh, uh, I had like a leaked document and all that. I don't think a lot of people fell for that one. but Yeah. <laughs> well, oh yeah. So like last week, I um, tweeted out saying that I was introducing Ouya to my friend 
I had my friend over and we were playing some multiplayer games online on live on Twitch. And uh but like for the two T O I put the number two. <laughs> I didn't because like, I was trying to keep the tweet short or I, actually it was too long so I had to like I was needed to get rid of one uh character so I put a number two for two. And uh uh, Timmy from the Uya forums, he's like, oh, I, I, you, you mis you just, that's misleading, because <laughs> he thought I was introducing the Uya too. <laughs> oh man, it was funny. that's uh, that's not cool. Why would you do that? I wasn't trying to. I I was just introducing my friend to Uya, and we played uh, some duck game, bomb squad. What else we play? Um, we tried out one shot. And we tried out that um, Pico game. Actually, I don't think we tried a sh uh, quick shot, one shot. We tried out um, Sumo Pico, which is that game is 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 weird. <laughs> it's 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 fun, but at the same time, because you can like control uh, your opponent with your controller too. So it, it was it was weird, but we had fun. Hmm. We were trying to figure it out, and every time we thought we figured it out, it it there was it we didn't. Because <laughs> like we both of us weren't even touching the controllers and our characters were moving, so yeah. They didn't have like any kind of instructions as to how to play the game. Nope, just play. Mm mm mm. But it was like a little quick game that probably de developed in like in a couple hours. So hey, at least it's on the Ouya, and that's the same developers that are working on Charge Shot, I believe it's called, and we'll probably get them on the show one of these days. When they're closer to releasing that game, um, yeah. So there's uh, something that I saw, kind of unrelated, but and maybe our listening audience can help me out because they really don't have all the information on this. So I'm probably going to sound ignorant, but somebody said that uh, which for XBMC, which everybody knows, Ouya even to this day, is probably one of the best devices to run XBMC on as a media server. But somebody said that the latest version is going to require like uh, Android 4.4 or something like that, and that Ouya doesn't yet support that. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, it might just be you know people guessing and, and speculating, but uh, have you heard anything about, uh, about the latest version and whether or not Ouya would be able to run it? I haven't, but um, mm. I I don't I don't I don't know why I don't know why they would not update the Android side of it. Um, there's plenty of uh, benefits that you can do. I believe on in, on Android uh, 4.2.2, you can actually like uh, record your screen uh, through ADB. Um, uh, Eldon was telling me about that yesterday. I helped him out with um, testing out his his apps on the Xami Mi Box, and on screen alerts work. So he's working on translating or yeah, translating that game to put that over there on that device. Um, and I lost track of what I was saying, but um, <laughs> well, you I forgot the question you were asking, and then I I tried went off on a tangent and I completely lost. Where I was going, <laughs> I was asking about uh, the colonization of sugar ants and whether or not you think it's a good idea to destroy them in their natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I I, I got a, a <laughs> ant farm in my room, so it, I try to you know control those the uh, temperature in here. So yeah, I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so uh, Cody, thank you, Kill Switch, for getting me back on track. Um, so updating. The Android uh, side, I, I don't, I just don't know why they wouldn't. I mean, it, it's, I'm pretty sure it's possible. I guess they don't want to update it because then it might mess up something else within their framework. Because I mean, they have, they're using Android as like the base, and they are, I guess, it's a forked version of an Android. I'm, I'm thinking where, it's, Android is like the back end, and everything up front is their software which they want they wanted it to do what they wanted to do so if they update the android side of it it might maybe mess up something on their side so i don't know but well, meaning to say this that 
I'm pretty sure that Ouya can handle Lollipop because uh, the Nexus 7, the first one that they came out with, it has almost the same specs as the Ouya, and that actually is running uh, Android Lollipop, which is 5.0, maybe 5.1, 5.2 now, I don't know. Um, so if they can put Lollipop on that device, which is older than the Ouya, I'm pretty sure they can put Lollipop on the on the Ouya. That's my yeah. thoughts. Well, that's a good, that's a good line of uh, thinking there, and mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you're right uh, with with the updates. You know, since Ouya and their software is really like the front end, and Android is, um, I'm sorry, the other way around. Since Ouya and their software is like the base and Android is kind of like the back end, um, you know, you're right. It might might not be in their best interest to update it if it's going to cause a conflict because, well, you know, I mean, it's it's all about the base, about the base. All no no treble. That, no treble. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to. I was like holding on to that one. So you started saying it's <laughs> the base. I'm like, oh, yeah. I got this. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, Killswitch was saying that Cody does need an up updated version for whatever reason, and supposedly Android will be updated at some point. I hope so because I mean, it's like I said, it you know. So the three points that I always make about Ouya, no matter what anybody says, there's three terrific things. Number one, emulation. Ouya has emulation down pat. You know, no problems there. Number two, original games made by great developers. They've got them. There's lots of them. Go play the original games. And number three, XBMC works terrific on the Ouya platform, and I would hate to see them lose that over a stupid Android update. So, yep. But there's, I think uh, Jared might have mentioned something about uh, Android update. I don't think if it was official, but I think he might have uh, said a comment or two in the Ouya forum chat. Um, then we have this leaked video that happened, which shows some kind of update. So there is update in the works, and we're just waiting for it to happen so we can talk about it and we can experience it. Yeah. I say with that we, uh, we, we pull our listening audience for the name. I really want to hear what everybody has to say obviously we're on a little bit of a time delay so if you guys can come up with a name we'll start reading them off here as soon as we see them come across i mean the the way that i figure names have to go it's got to be some kind of like um describing word and then like an animal of some kind or like a you know where they have like i mean what was the, the previous ones like the uh Chick abominable snowman and yeah the jaunty jackalope and or whatever that was so there's there's a there's a formula to most updates i, f I feel like that's how Uyez kind of falls chick charney yeah that was just an animal so let's see what they say i'm sure there's got to be we got to be catching up here but nothing yet everybody, so now i feel weird everybody <laughs> everybody heard your question they left <laughs> I know. There's, it happens. There's the um um what's that uh the lockless monster. It's probably gonna be like a sea monster or a werewolf next. Wait, yeah. No. I don't know. <laughs> Kill switch says Griffin. Dustin Allen says Dapper Dingo. Turtle Toy says Big Footed Bigfoot. <laughs> uh, I like Dapper Dingo. That's a that's a good uh, sassy Sasquatch. <laughs> I like that one too. That's pretty good. That, that I th I think that might be my favorite. So we're gonna have to petition Ouya to to name their next uh, release Sassy Sasquatch. <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. And uh I I I'm sure we can get an Uyen to uh 
to pose for the update cover, you know, without a shirt, maybe like a, you know, hairy backed gentleman of some kind. Yeah, big big footed foot uh Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it happens. Oh man. It's uh, uh it has been a uh a heck of a week, you know. I I really feel bad about not doing the Ouya cast last week, but I really felt like you know we were kind of gonna do it, and then I realized that day, like early morning, that oh my god, it's Easter, and I totally forgot about it, and uh, I didn't want to like do it because I felt like you know people were spending time with their family, and yeah, they could catch the rerun, but as we see in this episode, half the fun is interacting with the audience, and that's. Uh, that's really important, you know, that uh, you guys come and hang out with us. Now, today's episode had run an hour long, which, by the way, is my fault. I had a previous engagement, so I had to, you know, push us back an hour. But um, just kind of as an FYI, you know, overall thing, you know, really, we like talking to you guys as the show goes on. So, you know, sometimes we'll have you on the show, uh, but even when we don't, you know, come and come and uh, join us on the live chat, which is going to be every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and just watch our Twitter for the link. Or if you just go to YouTube and type in Uya Cast, you can probably find the link pretty fast. Um, I think they update it pretty much right as we set up the uh, the stream. Actually, you're you're doing that in advance now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So you can. Uh... I think you can save like the date in your Google Calendar or something too. Yeah. But if you go to our go to the YouTube um the We Essential YouTube channel, once we go live it'll show up on there as like recent uh coming soon events and then also live events. Absolutely. All right, man. Well I'll tell you what, uh looks like uh we got we got a request for some super renegade response footage which since we're gonna have to end this at about uh, 45 minutes today which means we've got about three minutes left what do you think you think you got uh you got time to play a, a level or two of that i think i might have to download it oh my god womp, womp, womp. so while that is downloading i can actually test out the code that he was thought he gave to you <laughs> uh, I was like oh man I'm like looking at my email like I gotta get a code I don't know I didn't get a code also uh, explosive dinosaur is supposed to be coming out with another mini game update um where is which is it? awesome oh yeah Every, all, all the Wii games are pretty neat they have their own unique uniqueness to them there's there's a flavor for everyone's taste buds so that's downloading. And here, here's an page, please. Like like uh Monster Finger Games here. Let's see. Let's see how many games they have. They have three games. And we're about to try out R Super Renegade Response, Rush Hour Mayhem, Color Color Combat. It's not how you spell color, but it's okay. We still like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah, there's a couple so. of developers out there that don't have a developer page set up and they have more than one game on the Ouya. So that'd be cool to see. Especially like so if you have it set up now, you won't have to worry about it later when you come out with another game. It just yeah. it just happen like magic. Ouya magic. Well, I mean, if you are a developer, it is really important, you know, aside from just being, you know, like not not want to say mean because we're not being mean about it but it's it's very important because you know you're you're advertising yourself as a development company not just hey I got this one game you know you want people to know what what else you have because there's been plenty of times when I've seen a game uh, that I really really like and it's like oh man I'm gonna go see what else I got and um, you know then you look at their developer page and you can just start downloading all their stuff and it's just a path to money man that I mean I, I I am all about the free to try and I'm all about the free games, but uh, you know, if you got something you're gonna sell, make sure that you have it on your developer page, especially because people love playing games by the same studio or by the same person, 
uh, that makes games. You know, they 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 stick with a developer, they follow them and and their work, and you know, you're only hurting yourself by not updating it. So, so damn it, do it, because I'm feeling emotional all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can find the code that he gave me. And actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it on the show because I don't want it to reveal my top secret information. So, let me see. So, can we at least play some Super Renegade response? Yeah, I think it finished downloading. Okey Go here to play. Ouya Central Turtle Toy wants to know how he can get on the show. This has become the Ouya Central show. I'm just like a background noise now, man. <laughs> <laughs> this, this show wouldn't be possible without Ouya Brew. Just oh, no. You know. no, no. I feel, I feel bad now. Now I'm just going to... You know what? I'm going to go cry. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I hope you're happy, Turtle Toy. Look what you did. You have emotionally destabilized me, and I'm going to go cry now. Look what you did, you little jerk. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just joking. Kevin. I <laughs> uh, love it. All right. All right. We're going to play, because we're already now past the 45-minute mark, so we're going to play a uh, a single round of Super Renegade Response. Just for you, Rosie. Just for you. Oh, you saw the inappropriate image that the, he has in this game? I can't believe Ouya passed this game. They probably encouraged it. There was a there was a lady on the beach that was improperly dressed. Oh my god. Uh oh. Are the cops after me or I am the cop? Oh yeah, I'm the cop. I knew that. I played this game before. <laughs> I think Killswitch has like a cameo in this or something. Oh. Oh. Mm-mm. Danger zone. <laughs> Danger zone. Danger zone, Lana. Wipe out. It's so funny because we're not doing the actual uh, the Google Hangout anymore. So I used to be able to see everything that you were doing in real time. Now the only time I can see your screen is if uh, I'm looking at the YouTube video. So I feel like I'm just like everybody else. You start saying something, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, wipe out. Yeah, you totally wiped out. I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about because I can't see it. I just, I just passed the, the uh, first level. You probably can see that in a couple of hour, hours. And uh, let's see, trying to collect some coins. Uh-oh. There's some bombs getting thrown at me, and I'm blowing up. Wait, how can I shoot him? Oh, there we go. There, that's how you shoot. I knew that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you, you're not you're, you're not gonna shoot me. If I recall, he he uh, revealed to us that the way to not crash is like there's a. Uh, as they say, there's an invisible box around your car, and like if you go over a certain line, that's when they start coming at you from the opposite direction. That might be true. Pretty sure that's what he said. All right, cleared level. Super Renegade Response is a terrific game. If you've never played it, do yourself a favor and get it today. Especially this on Ouya. Okay. Only on Ouya. Only on Ouya. Ouya. <laughs> Look, he's gonna execute that guy. He's standing by his car. Whoa, pull over. You're speeding. When you die, we're out of here, man. I'm not dying. I got three credits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna die after I mean, this, uh, if I, after I beat this level. Because only the f first three levels are free. I hadn't tried the code yet. <laughs> there, there is something to be said about having like actual credits on a game because 
Uh, you know, I've been playing, I, I've said it last couple of episodes, I've been playing the Adams Family Pinball a lot. Oh, yeah. And what? He's, he's, dude was trying to run me off the road. Oh. Uh, and like, you know, it's it's like when you have credits in a game, it's like, oh man, I got to play and, you know, beat these these credits and, you know, make sure that I use them. And then when you have a game that just keeps playing, even if you have credits or you don't, it doesn't really matter. It's kind of like, oh, okay, well, you know, it doesn't matter if I win or lose because I get to continue anyway, so. Yeah, I have, I put my quarters in my Ouya. That's how I get <laughs> credits. Nice. And it's on the loading awesome screen. Does it want me to buy something now? I don't know. Did you beat all three levels? So Kill Switch was the first voice you heard in the game. Oh, I see. I knew. I see. I knew that. Yeah, because they after because you said the first uh, three levels are free, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what it is. I think they want you to buy. Oh no! Here we go. I could put in my my initials. A S something other than another S. Couch party. Oh yeah, for multiplayer. You can press Y to mute it. To mute the game audio. So that's cool. So go ahead and beat my high score of six hundred and fifty six. I'll I'll try on my all my free time when I'm just sitting around the house in my underwear eating bonbons and stuff. I have no more credits. I gotta put some more quarters in it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yes, thank you. Kill Fifty-five Switch. episodes, man. Can you believe that crap? I can't believe it. It's insane. Who, who said we weren't gonna last that long? I did. Oh wait. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Turtle Toy, for joining us. Kill Switch, Rosie, Dustin, and who else? Whoever else is out there. Uh, let's see. Let's get all the names. We got just another minute. Hold on. I'm gonna go from the top. I think I saw Alan in there. Yeah, that's Dustin oh. Allen. I just froze. I just froze my damn browser trying to look up at everybody's name. All right. Well, thank you, anybody. <laughs> anybody that was there, we appreciate you. So Turtle Toy, you want to be on the show? We actually might have like a Ouya, uh, Ouyan edition soon, which we might not want to. I don't know when we'll do that because we we have some episodes planned already. We had some developer actually planned for today, which now it's gonna get probably get pushed back to next Sunday. So it's and then Kill Switch is supposed to be back on the show, so that's after that show, and then after that show. So who knows? Just keep uh, keep watching. Oh my God! Here goes the airplane. This is like clockwork with this airplane. I swear to God. Uh, but anyway, keep watching the uh, the Ouya cast, and uh, we'll make sure to get you on the next Ouya episode. We'd love to have you, you know, play some games with us, and uh, well, you know, lose some games to us because clearly we're awesome. You know, geniuses. And, Just saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, you Toot! Know. That was my horn. Just saying. Oh, that's that smell. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. All right, it. bring us home, you bastard. <laughs> so that's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back here, hopefully at the original time next week, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can follow us on Twitter at Ouya Central TV and at Ouya Brew. You can follow us on our websites, OuyaCentral.tv, OuyaBrew.com. That's it for this week. Catch you guys next week. Bye-bye. See ya. See ya.